Hello, my name is Fire Inspector Kevin Williams from the Baltimore City Fire Department. Today, we want to talk with you about keeping your home safe and warm during the winter months. First of all, it is important that every home has working smoke alarm, one that is installed on every floor of the house. Baltimore City residents can call 311 to request free smoke alarm. When you call, a firefighter will come to your house within two hours to install a working smoke alarm at no cost. Each year, fire claims the lives of 3,400 Americans, injures 17,000, and causes billions of dollars of damage. The improper use of wood stoves or space heaters can be dangerous. First, all heating equipment needs space. Keep anything that can burn at least three feet away. Supervise children whenever a wood stove or space heater is being used. We recommend having a three foot kid free zone around open fire and space heaters. You should only use heaters approved by Underwriters Laboratory or UL. You can find a seal on the packaging when you are buying it at the store. Your heater should have an anti-tipping mechanism so it will switch off automatically if the heater falls over. At no time should you treat your space heater as a clothes dryer. Never dry clothes on top of your heater and never place objects on it. Never use a space heater with any type of power strip. Always plug space heaters directly into the wall outlet. Last but not least, always unplug your electric space heaters when not in use. If your home has a fireplace, you need to take many precautions before you begin using it during the winter season. Every year, your chimney builds up creosote and needs to be cleaned and inspected frequently by a licensed professional. This will prevent deadly chimney and roof fires from starting. Never burn trash, paper, or green wood in your fireplace. These materials are difficult to control when on fire and will cause heavy creosote buildup, which can cause chimney fires. Your fireplace should have a heavy screen to stop hot rolling logs and it should be large enough to prevent sparks from flying onto flammable objects or people. When you are finished, make sure the fire is completely out before leaving the house or going to bed. Sometimes, to save a little money on their heating bill, people try to cut corners. This is never a good idea. At no time should you ever use a range or an oven as a supplemental heating device. Doing so not only creates a safety hazard for children and pets, but ovens can be a source of potentially dangerous levels of carbon monoxide. Another danger during winter comes when someone tries to unfreeze water pipes. You should never thaw your pipes with a blowtorch or other open flame. The pipes, while frozen, are good conductors of heat and could ignite a part of your house inside the walls. Always use hot water or a UL approved device such as a handheld dryer for thawing. Most people still use furnaces to heat their home. We recommend that you have your furnace inspected regularly to ensure that it is in good working condition. An inspector can check to see if all your furnace controls are in proper working condition or if they need replacing. Find a licensed furnace repair specialist to perform the inspection. By all means, do not attempt repairs yourself unless you are a licensed and qualified contractor. You can do your part by keeping your area around your furnace clear of combustible materials. Do not use your furnace closet to dry clothing or to store anything. This area should be clear at all times and we recommend that every house have a carbon monoxide detector installed outside every sleeping area. The CO detector should be installed following manufacturer's directions. If your detector sets off an alarm, immediately exit your home and call 911. A firefighter will come to your house to check CO levels and ensure you can safely return. Hello, I'm Lieutenant Gerald Qualls of the Baltimore City Fire Department Fire Marshal's Office. I hope this information presented today is helpful. By taking a few simple steps, you can eliminate many fire risks from your home. If you have any additional questions about making your home safer, you can always contact the Office of the Fire Marshal at 410-396-5752. As always, if you need a smoke alarm for your home, please call 311. Thank you again and please be safe.